Yo, what's up, guys? So, uh, today I have a updated Crocodile Slayer Task um, guide. So, I got assigned to kill 78 more crocodiles, and normally I'd be ripping my hair out and, you know, fucking freaking out. But, um, after I made that last guide, uh, it was really boring and really slow, so I tried to look up if there's any other locations, and there actually are. And it's it's such an uh it's like such a relief like the uh location's really good it's in a uh, sofa or however you want to say it um the only requirement to use it is i actually didn't after i made this guide or after i made the last crocodile slayer guide i did not um have this quest complete so i just went and did it uh you know it takes like 30 40 minutes uh you're gonna have to do uh ix Florin's little helper <laughs> uh i can't fucking say that but yeah, this quest right here, um, not that hard. Um, I don't, I don't remember what the requirements are, but I don't think they're very high. So, um, just do that quest. Trust me, it's definitely worth it with these crocodiles. Trust me, it is, it is worth it. Um, you don't have to waste your uh, Slayer points blocking them. You could just get them as a task, and it won't be a big deal. Cause they're they're still like 64 XP a kill, so that's that's pretty good. And they're not hard to kill. And now that uh, I, there's this area I found, um, you can kill them. Also, there's some mistakes I made in the last guide that I want to uh, uh, touch on. So, actually, fuck. I just realized something. I need to put a lobster away because when I buy the shanty pass. Okay. So, first of all, with the magic carpet, you can have weapons wielded. You don't have to not have them wielded. I don't know why I thought that, but you don't have to have them wielded. Um, you can just ride the carpet with your weapons wielded. It doesn't matter. Um... Second thing is, I said you just have to use your water skins on, I actually added an annotation, but, um, you can't just, you cannot just use your water skins on, uh, the fountain. Uh, you have to, oh, and in, uh, in Sofanem, there is a, you don't need to bring prayer pots, you can pray melee, uh, which is what I do sometimes, but, uh, if you pray melee, just go run, uh, let's see here, so... Yeah, you're just going to run south back to... They're not that far from Sofanem. They're near a river. And you're just going to run south back to Sofanem. And uh, there's a prayer altar, like, right there in a church. So it's really useful. You don't have to waste money on prayer pots. Uh, just use some run energy and uh, run back to Sofanem and use it. And then for refilling your uh, water skins, right behind the uh, church is a sink. And you can use your bucket on the sink and fill it with water and then refill your water skins. Uh, I would recommend to bring more than me, but I only had five to begin with, and you have to give somebody uh, one of them for the quest, so I only have four, and I haven't bothered to buy more, because I don't really care. Uh, I never go in the desert unless it's for this task, so. Um, anyway, um, those are all the fixes and everything, so now I'm going to show you how to get there, so uh, make sure you bring normal Slayer gear, bring, uh, bring water skins, a bucket, 405 coins, your enchanted gem or slayer helmet, and food. So, um, buy a pass from Shanty, and that's going to be 5 coins, leaving you with 400. So you're going to want to go through the Shanty Pass. Actually, I don't ask for this again. Okay. Travel Rug Merchant. Go to Paul and Dimnich. Also, after you uh, complete the uh, Ix Lauren's Little Helper quest. Uh, once you go to uh, Paul Nivnich, you will get the op uh, when you see the other other rug merchant, you'll have the option to travel to um, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Sofanem, which is where we're going to be going. So after you complete the quest, you can use this other rug, rug merchant that you're going to see in a second to go to Sofanem. So, alright, let me go and get there. Um, since these give good XP, uh, this will probably get me to 42 Slayer, which is what I need for a uh, rum deal, so pretty happy about that. I can probably do the quest after this task, so that should be fun. Alright, so travel rug merchant again, and go to Sofanem. And once we get there, I will show you where they're at. 
See, there's regular crocodiles you can see right there, like all around here, that we were going to kill, but they're annoying as shit because you have to keep running across the river if you're using melee and all that. And I just couldn't take it, so I looked up. I was hopeful that there would be another place, and um, there is. So, um, when we're. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, whenever we get there, you can already see, here they are. Um, this river right here. Like, they're, they're really close together, and there's some more along the, uh, uh, edge over here. So here we are. While I'm here, let me show you, um, I actually have a water skin I need to refill anyway, so let me open this gate and show you where the sink, where the, uh, altar and all that stuff is. Also another, a, uh, even faster way, if you have some money and, uh, you can get a, uh, a uh, Pharaoh's uh, Scepter or whatever it's called and teleport this Pyramid Plunder right here, the uh, thieving mini game. So if you have that you could just teleport right into the city. It's actually extremely useful if you don't uh, you don't have to uh, um, you will not have to do all that traveling by rug and it'll be uh, an e you'll cut an extra five minutes off so here's the sink I was talking about just hold up a second I'm gonna move this stuff around Where's the one with zero at? Alright, so zero. I'm all about keeping my shit organized, so. Fuck. Four. Sweet zero. Okay. It just bothers me, I don't know why. Alright, anyway, so you can fill up your uh, bucket here. Use it on the uh, water skins. Okay, so I have all those four now. That's cool. So, uh, you can probably see when I was running here. Um, here's the prayer altar. Don't need to waste seven, uh, seven point four k or whatever it is to get. Oh, actually, that's why well, I'm retarded. I don't know why I just tried to pray that. But anyway, um, well, fuck. I have to walk there. I only have two and a half minutes left. I'll make it. It's not too far. But yeah, as you can see, that's where you refill prayer and fill up your bucket with water. Okay. Um, oh, another a uh, third option to getting here, besides, of course, like walking, um, is to buy a Narda teleport from the Grand Exchange. They are 5k. And teleport to Narda, and then just take the uh, rug merchant from there over here, because that'll be one less rug merchant trip. Um, you could also, here before I go over there and fight them, um, if you teleport to Narda and you don't want to take a rug merchant or you forgot to bring money, well first of all there's a bank in Narda so you could just get uh, coins, but if you don't want to use the rug merchant, it's just southwest of uh, Narda and it's really not that far. So, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and attack these. And as you, I don't need to explain anything because I've already made a guy on this, but, you know, um, here they are, they're all around here. This is nice, because you don't have to cross a bridge, they're all pretty clustered, like here's one here, 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 here. Um, and trust me, more come like over in this area, so it, it is a lot better. Completing, the if you get this task, uh, you're gonna get over at least 70, and, oh, shit my dog. Uh, so trust me, just complete the quest, it'll make this, uh, task so much easier trust me guys um so just get it done and come to this um place to kill crocodiles it helps a lot and makes the sky go by or not the sky uh makes the task go by a lot faster so i hope this guy i hope this guy helped you out and uh uh stay tuned for my next one all right peace